In this video I want to cover how to use the playback functionality within Market Delta, sometimes referred to as replay. So right now we're looking at a bid ask footprint chart of crude oil. It's live, everything's connected, and I want to go into playback mode. So in order to do so, we want to click File, Playback. Up pops the playback window. And you'll punch in the symbol that you want to play back. Or you can actually play back a quote page. So we could choose quote page. Choose from any of the quote pages you have in your system. And play back the quote page. Now the benefit of doing this is, or an example of this would be, say you're tracking the Dow, the NASDAQ, and the S&P. And you want to play back all three of those symbols and see how the charts are behaving, look for divergences or different patterns between the different instruments. This would be a way that you could actually do that in a playback manner. In this case we want to playback just one symbol and current date. Now you can click the drop down and choose where you want to go. Of course you have to have the data in order to do so. Keep in mind if you're using the footprint you'll have to have the tick data in order to do the replay. The next thing you choose what time do you want this to start? You may want to jump to a certain period of the day and start from there. Now if I click the drop down, and this is important, you ought to double check this session, specify session. And you can see um, if you define a time that is outside the, the specified session it won't it won't seem like it's working so in this case session 31 is my 24 hour session I punch in 31 I click OK and then now it'll be working off that 24 hour session and if you're not sure what your session is you can always click set up preferences sessions this defines the number you can see the number in which session you want. So you can see 31 is the 24 hour session. It encompasses the time frame that I want to play back in. That's the important thing. So I've specified that 31, click OK, and I've got it set to start at 7.30 a.m. I'm going to click play. It pops up and asks do I want to uh, work offline, which you must do in order to uh, run the replay. Click OK and give it a minute. You can see that it goes offline and you can see it now is playing back. You can see the clock ticking here. You can see it's in playback mode and this is where you control the speed. So right now it's second by second. If I want to do 10 speed or 10 seconds every second, I can do that and you'll see the prints will come in a lot faster. And the same thing, let's jump up to a really fast replay. Okay, so that's how this works. Now another thing you can do just to show that it is replaying in all chart windows is let's say I wanted to open up another chart just choose candle chart and here we are and let's choose uh, let me change this symbol to CL and so you can see now here's a can't well this is actually a footprint but there's a candle chart now it coincides with our replay. And so you could have, you may have these spread out all over your screens. You could be watching these replay. Uh, and you could pause it if you wanted to get a, an idea, look at it a little closer, and then just resume it at your convenience. I want to show an example of a playback the last four days of the S&P E-mini on the market profile chart. It's pretty interesting to watch how the market tests key levels, uh, high volume points, and then the value area high and low, as well as on a day like this, as you can see, that was more of a trend day. Uh, it's interesting to watch how this developed. Now, just so you know, 
what I've done here is I've shaded the letter colors um, according to certain points of the day. So to explain it, you can look down here at the bottom. I have my day set. This is, these are day session only charts, and uh, you can see that the first hour, or the initial balance, I have shaded blue. So letter A and B is blue. Then the next two hours is orange. Then the next two hours I have green. The last hour and a half I have is pink. And then the last 15 minutes is uh, just black. So it's neat to look. You can see these profiles and get an, get an idea of whether the market, well, where it opened, what it did midday. And then the pink is what I look at to see what it did near the end of the day, whether it closed near its highs or near its lows, kind of what's the trend been. But you can see on this trend day here that we had a couple days ago how each part of the day, each segment of the day was at higher and higher levels. So we'll click, uh, we'll play back this, watch how these um, test, and uh, here's how you do this. There's a couple different playback mechanisms you can use within Market Delta. I like for the market profile, I like using the one that's built right into the chart. To do that, um, let me right click the chart and I want to click Show Info Box first so I have the playback controls over here on the left. This is what I'll start, start it with. But before I do that, I'm going to double click and go to Options. And you can see right here where it says Playback Rate. I basically have it playing back uh, 0.2 seconds per TPO. So it'll be a fairly, fairly fast playback. Um, and you'll see this will make sense. So I'm going to click Play. It's going to basically start with the beginning of the data that I have. So here's what I have. I have it showing four days ending now. So it's basically going to start four days ago at the beginning and play to the end. So let's click play. We'll just kind of watch this work. You can see here it goes. This was the March 10th is what we're looking at. You can just watch this. This is a great tool to learn uh, market profile patterns, how they develop, and how they'll test key levels. So once we once we get to the next day here, you'll, you'll be able to watch how it's testing previous day levels. Remember the pink here was is the end of the day. There we go. We start the second day, March 11th. Let's watch how it tests. Notice how it tested the value area high from the previous day. And then this would be the high volume point from, from this day. So you can watch how the market will react to these key levels. You can see it just probed a little bit below the low. It's just backing and filling here. Here we go down to test high volume node and then it bounces back up in. And that makes sense. I mean, the market had been rotating all day. It tested a, a key level and then bounced right back in and rotated. Now, here we go. This is the trend day. Let's watch how this develops. Notice it tested just below that high volume level from two days ago. Notice how each letter is almost putting in higher highs. It's fun to watch it watch it build this way. And here we go. This is this is today, so there's not a whole bunch to look at. And there you go. Now another thing you could do, if I hit play, if I hit play again, it may be may be useful. I'll let it build a couple. This is just I'll just show you this real quick. Notice before it was building the profiles, backing and filling, but you can also uh, split these out. And I'm going to just shift left click and it'll split the profile out. Let's watch a couple of these develop. It's kind of interesting this way too because then you can get an idea each 30 minute bracket. Are we going, are we setting higher highs, lower lows? You can see how the day developed. So there, it just compressed that. Now we're back to the next day. Looks like I gotta split that one too. There we go. Just watch it. Watch this for a couple seconds. You get the idea. Makes it more obvious some of these tests how they just probe maybe a tick or two, uh, just to trip some stops and then reject it back into the main area of trading. All right. Hope you found this helpful. Thanks.